Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are working with Python and we are going to choose Gord clauses. We already have a video on JavaScript with Gord clauses and we already know that the Gord clause is simply a check that basically immediately uh, exits the function either with a return statement or an exception and we are going to use this using Python so you can know there is the same approach as JavaScript, just another uh, different uh, syntax to creating the, the functions and the ifs and so on. So basically I will use here a class using the data class to create all the stuff for the class to be easier. So the, the car class will have the name, the type, the model and if it is certified or not. And basically we have the, his Ferrari function that is checking if the type of the object of the car object if it is car and if the model is ferrari if so it returns true otherwise it returns false then we have the is ferrari guard clause function what it does basically if our object type is not car then we return false if it is car then we go to the next condition that is to check if the model is not Ferrari. If it is not Ferrari, it returns false again. But if it is, we go to the last line of code that is return true. And basically, if it is car and Ferrari, then it is a Ferrari. As you can see, it's very simple. And we can have another level of uh, nested if an else is. So basically, this is Ferrari certified function. This function here includes also if the car is certified or not. So we need to check here three hifs and we have three healths. And using guard clauses, you just go and check by the false statements basically. So if the type is not car, return false. If it is a car but is not Ferrari, then return false. If it is car and Ferrari but is not certified, we return false. If it is car, Ferrari and it is certified, then we return true. Very, very simple. So I'm creating some objects. The first car is a Ford, second one is a Ferrari and is certified. The third one is a Ferrari but it is not certified and the last one is a bike. And I can put here Honda. Then I put all the objects in an array so I can loop through them. And in the first case I'm using the first function is Ferrari, this one, to check the car if it is Ferrari or not. Then we have an empty line and we are checking using the is Ferrari guard clause that is the second function that is the one related to the, the is Ferrari. After that we are printing and checking if the car is certified. So we are using the is Ferrari certified and the correspondent one to the guard clause there are the two last functions. And let me run the code. As you can see here, in the first two uh, function checks, we are not checking if, it, if the car is certified or not. So we have two Ferraris. So we have car number two and car number three. They are exactly the same, except for the name and the certification. But when we are using the certified functions, they check for if it is certified or not, then we only have car number two as it is a Ferrari in both situations. So as you can see, you can have a function or several conditions that look cleaner and easier to understand for a new developer that is using your function or even for you after one hour or two days and you avoid all of these indentation and even else big chains so i advise you to start using these guard clauses in your code and you will reduce a lot of lines of code and will have a cleaner and easier to read code so this is it for for today i hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next time in the next tutorial